Hey everybody, I'm here from Anson B. Nixon Park in Kennedy Square, Pennsylvania. And I'm here to answer the number one question that we get. How long will the batteries last? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, I'm here on the testing ground, which is a massive hill in the park. As I pan across here, you can get a sense of the magnitude of this thing. I'm gonna load the wagon up with weight and see how many times it will carry that weight up this hill. All right, to give you a sense of how steep the slope is that I'm working with here, I have a uh, four foot level. I already know that's about a three to one slope. Uh, get your level level. You would move here and measure down to three foot mark, and it should be showing right around 12 inches. Uh, so three to one slope, about 33%, probably steeper than most of the dunes that you come across. So it's good testing ground to see how long our battery lasts. So the recommended weight limit that our wagon carries is 300 pounds. Each one of these bags weighs 50 pounds. So I have 200 pounds on here. Okay, off we go. Up the hill for the first time. All right, so the wagon is powering itself up the hill. With 200 pounds. And this is a pretty steep hill here. Almost to the top. Almost. All right. One run down. Hopefully many more to go. Well, I called it quits after going up and down the hill 10 times. I wanted to make sure I had enough battery power left to get it back to the truck. Certainly didn't want to be carrying 200 pounds of stone another half mile. But it was a pretty successful test. I'm confident to say that the wagon has enough power to conquer anyone's trip to the beach. We just recommend that you charge it after every use and you should be set. All right, now that the test is done, I wanted to summarize the results and provide you a little bit more information on the batteries. I didn't have any problems making it back to the truck, which was about 1,600 feet away from the test hill, which is right here. I'm going to pull up the exercise app that I used, and you can see that the total distance traveled during the test was about 1.38 miles. On the right-hand side here, I blew up the area of the test. Each one of these points on the right indicates when I got to the top of the hill and turned around, so you can see that I made it up to the top of the hill 10 times. When I got home, it only took two and a half hours to fully charge the batteries. Four hours is actually the longest time I've had to charge the batteries so far, so that tells me there's still plenty of juice left in them. We do get a lot of questions on how to charge the batteries, so we created a GIF on our Facebook page to show you the process. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, just plug the three-prong connector uh, into the control panel on the front and then wait until the indicator light on the charging block turns green. If you charge after every use, it should charge in less than two hours. We do recommend that you charge after every use to improve the longevity of your batteries. There are two 12 volt, 22 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries on the wagon. Sealed lead acid batteries are great because they present a low fire risk and they are not considered a hazardous material when shipping. Plus they are readily available, low cost and easy to replace. This website shows that you can buy one battery for $40. So you can basically replace both batteries for about $100, including shipping. These batteries should last about five years if you keep them charged properly. Well, that concludes this video. I will be doing some additional testing this spring a little closer to home to see how much distance I can get out of one charge. So stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube page, and follow us on Facebook. Thanks, I'll see you later.